So far we have learned how to implement all the four control sources using the MOS transistor. We have also discussed how to implement the voltage control voltage source and the current control voltage source using an op amp. Okay. All these circuits are based on negative feedback and sometimes there is a great deal of confusion when talking about negative feedback and a related concept which is known as virtual short. What we will do in this lesson is to discuss this business of virtual short and how it needs negative feedback with a very large gain in the loop. Okay. Now let me first take the op amp examples which are easier to discuss and specifically I will consider the voltage control voltage source using the op amp. You also know that this is what is known as the non inverting amplifier. Okay. We have an input signal V i and we have a voltage divider from the output. Okay. And this is V D. And let us say the gain of the op amp is A naught. That means that oh, the op amp is equivalent to a voltage controlled voltage source of gain A naught. Okay. This is V naught and this is V D. Okay. Now, we have already analyzed and found that V naught by V i equals K by 1 plus K by A naught or V naught equals V i times this number. Okay. And the difference voltage V D is V naught by A naught, which can also be written as V i the input voltage times K by A naught divided by 1 plus K by A naught. Okay. Now, what happens as as A naught goes to infinity, this number of course becomes equal to k as A naught tends to infinity and this V d tends to 0 as A naught tends to infinity. Okay. So, that means that the voltage difference between these two terminals will tend to 0 as A naught tends to infinity. If A naught is infinity, these two will be at the same voltage. And this is what is known as the virtual short. Okay. Now, if you have some two points, let us say two nodes and then you short circuit them with a wire, then clearly the voltage at this node and this node will have to be exactly equal to each other. Okay. They may have been different before you connected the wire, before you shorted them, but after you short them with the wire, the voltages have to be the same. Now, in this uh, circuit, we have a situation where the voltage at this node and this node will have to be the same okay if a naught is infinity and they are not shorted by a wire okay so it's they are not really shorted to each other they are not connected at all in fact if you use this model it looks like there is an open circuit between them but the negative feedback action with a very large a naught that is an infinitely large a naught makes these two voltages equal to each other so then in such a case we say that these two nodes are virtually shorted clearly they are not really shorted there is no wire connecting them. So, these two nodes are virtually shorted. Okay. And this is true for uh, any op amp circuit which is operating in negative feedback and the op amps gain goes to and when the op amps gain goes to infinity. Okay. We can also take the current controlled voltage source example. Uh, 
we know that the output voltage is I i times R m divided by 1 plus 1 by A naught and this difference voltage V d of the op amp is in this case V naught by A naught which is I i R m by A naught 1 plus 1 by A naught. Okay. So, again this V d tends to 0 as A naught goes to infinity that is the input terminals of the op amp are virtually shorted. Again this happens because A naught equals infinity. Okay. Now, in this particular case because the positive terminal of the op amp is connected to ground when they become virtually shorted because of gain becoming infinity this node here also is at 0 volts. So, sometimes it is also called a virtual ground that is its voltage is guaranteed to be at 0 volts, but it is not shorted to ground through a wire. Okay. So, that is the virtual ground. Many times there is a great deal of confusion about why this virtual short comes about. Okay. It is not that if you just take an op amp and do nothing with it there will be a virtual short between its terminals. You have to configure the circuit in negative feedback and the gain of the op amp has to be very large. Of course, if you buy an op amp its gain will be very large okay? because the op amp circuits are useful only when the gain of the op amp is very large and the designers of the op amp do take care to make sure that the gain is very large, but it is up to you to put the op amp in negative feedback. Then these two terminals will be virtually shorted and lots of very useful functions can be realized with this property okay? and also this virtual short business makes it very easy to analyze ideal op amp circuits and even when the op amp is real that is the gain is not quite infinity you can still go ahead and assume virtual uh, shorts and analyze the circuit what you get will be the approximate transfer function or op approximate gain of the op amp circuits okay so many times you just look at an op amp circuit and you can tell what it is doing after that you can uh, put in the finite gain of the op amp and analyze uh, the exact transfer function okay So, sometimes there is some confusion about why the virtual short comes about like I just mentioned and there is some confusion about whether it comes because the input resistance of the op amp is infinite or 0 or something of the sort. Okay. It is very easy to see that the resistance of the op amp that is let us say that there was some internal resistance between the two input terminals of the op amp. It is very easy to see that it plays absolutely no role as far as the virtual short is concerned. Okay. In fact, for that it is easy to first consider an op amp in which there is no resistance and we have A naught tending to infinity. And if the gain becomes infinite we know that this is at 0 volts and these two are virtually shorted okay? and it is because of the finite gain. Now, you can connect whatever resistance you want between this. Okay? So, that corresponds to a resistance that may be there inside the op amp. I am drawing it outside, but it may be inside the op amp. What is the voltage across this resistance? It is 0 volts. So, it carries no current. So, it makes no difference to the Kirchhoff's current law equation here. So, it makes no difference whatsoever to the circuit. Okay. So, if the gain is infinite, the input resistance of the op amp makes absolutely no difference and the virtual short is not because of the input resistance, it is because of the gain being infinite. Okay. And similarly, the same goes for the output resistance. The output could have some series resistance Okay. and you can do a similar analysis and find that it has absolutely no effect whatsoever. Okay. Now, another way to think about this virtual short business in an op amp is that because the gain is infinite okay, and the output is finite that is something we have to assume and the output will be finite only if there is negative feedback. If it is positive feedback it could be diverging off to infinity. Okay. If the output is uh, finite then the input which is output divided by the gain has to be equal to 0. So, the input voltage is 0 for any finite value of output. Okay. And similarly here, 
for any finite value of output the input has to be zero the thing that has to be guaranteed is that the output will not diverge off to infinity and that's guaranteed by negative feedback if you do have positive feedback you will find that the steady state output will go to infinity okay so this is what virtual short is all about it also happens in circuits using a transistor as long as there is negative feedback around the transistor okay